Hey guys, we are back with another F-150 video. This time around, it is that guy's turn. It is a Ford F-150 Lariat package. And if you are interested in learning what the differences are between all of the Lariat F-150s, do not go anywhere, stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Jorge Lopez your sales consultant over at Tomball Ford. Thank you very much for tuning in and allowing me to show you a little bit about the F-150. Right now, I am going to go over the F-150 Lariat trim level. As you probably already know, not all Lariats are equipped the same way. Some of them have different options than others. Some of them have equipment groups and that is what we're talking about today. There's equipment group 500, 501, and 502. There's three different levels of lariats and each one of them have its own unique equipment and bundle of, of options. So I'm gonna be spending some time talking to you about the differences between these levels so that you're more informed about the F-150. And if you haven't done so already, I would love for you to subscribe and give me some thumbs up. That way you guys don't miss any future videos. I am coming about, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be posting a video on, a, on the King Ranch, the Platinum, and a Limited in the future. So subscribe so, so that you guys don't miss anything. And if you haven't done so already, I'll leave in the cards up top a link to the previous two um, F-150 reviews I've done, which are the XL and the XLT models, so that you guys learn about the F-150 lineup. Okay, without any further ado, let me go ahead and start to talk to you guys about this F-150 Lariat. So let's get started. Okay guys, we are back and I'd like to show you this truck right here, which is an F-150. It is a Lariat package, which is what this video is about. And I am going to describe and show you the different things that you can get under the different equipment groups which are again 500, 501, and 502. The higher the number means that you get more equipment, you get more options, you get a fancier Lariat, which is a 502. The 500 is an entry-level Lariat. So um, I'd like to first of all tell you or show you the window sticker on this one so that we can see what this one has. And this is where I actually start every time that I'm showing a vehicle to a customer is on the window sticker. So this one, here, this one here is a 2017 4x4 with the 5.0 V8 engine and this color is called Blue Jeans Metallic, which is a beautiful color. When the sun hits it, it's got a really nice metallic flake to it. This one here is the medium gray leather interior, which is one of the things that I'm gonna show you because on a Lariat package, you can get three different colors on a Lariat. Again, this one's a 502 which gives you the blind spot monitoring system. Very, very helpful when you're driving on the road and somebody's in your blind spot. The indicators on the mirrors, which are basically right there, will show you if a car, will alert you if a car is in your blind spot by, uh, by turning that yellow. So the, the, uh, that dot will light up and that'll warn you, letting you know that you've got somebody in your blind spot area. You also have backup sensors. So these are the four sensors in the back bumper that will advise you if, or warn, your, warn you if you have somebody behind you when you're backing up. You've got LED spotlight mirrors, which are these guys right here. In the cab of the truck, you have a button where you can turn on and off those spotlights. Pretty powerful, and they'll definitely uh, light up any, anything at night. You also have a built-in inverter, Sync Connect, I love this feature. Sync Connect is the ability for you to remote start your vehicle from anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are at. You can schedule remote starts and you can also locate your vehicle on, um, on a map. Uh, for example, if you're like uh, using your app on the phone, you can locate your vehicle via your phone app. You also have voice activated navigational software, heated steering wheel and heated uh, second row. When you drop down to a 501, you start losing some of these options. When you, when you drop down to a 500, you pretty much lose everything there. Now, on a 501, there's some ways where you can get part of these as a standalone option. 
on a 501 um, but a 502 comes bundled with everything that you see everything that you see there um, this one has a 50 v8 the 3.55 electronic lockable lockable axle twin panel moonroof trailer tow package fx4 off-road package tailgate step 20 inch chrome wheels and a 36 gallon fuel fuel tank now let me step away a little bit to showcase this truck a little bit and tell you uh, one of the differences that I like that you get under 502 is the quad beam LED lights. So you have two LED lights on each side of the headlight with a really nice rope surround light as you can see right there. At night, man, this truck looks very sexy. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Another thing that you get under 502 is, I don't know if you can see that, but behind the rear view mirror, you have a camera which is basically like a light sensor if there's somebody in front of you either going or coming at night your automatic high beams will come on automatically you don't have to do anything special it does it automatically another thing that you get under 502 is rain sensitive wipers so that again comes into play with that little camera it basically determines moisture and it'll activate the wipers for you the other thing that you get is inside it is the sony audio system which you can see the brand name right there so you have tweeters on each of the pillars there's one right there and the other one on this side your center channel and each of the door has their own speakers and then you have a subwoofer behind the seats in the back now this is one of the colors that you get under a lariat package this is the uh, the gray color you also have the choice of the camel and you also have the choice of the charcoal so you have three color choices under lariat package you also have two appearance looks you have the lariat chrome which obviously is pretty self-explanatory you've got a lot of chrome on the truck you have chrome bumpers a chrome grill chrome mirror caps chrome handles wheels and running boards so that is one look right there you also have a lariat with the sport package which is that guy right there there's no chrome on this guy. This is a Lariat. Now this one happens to be a 501. So you can get a Lariat Sport Package on Equipment Group 501 or 502. And you can get a Lariat Chrome on 501 and 502. It does not matter. But what I like about this one in here is that your bumpers are painted. Your handles are painted. You don't have a chrome accent at all. Your wheels are a unique wheel to the sport package. Your running board is unique as well. And take a look at the front. This is the type of grill that you get with the painted bumper. And you've got the halogen bulb on the Equipment Group 501. There's no camera in the back part of the rear view mirror. So you miss that, you miss the uh, rain sensitive wipers, you miss the audio system. Now on the inside of this truck, this is black, this is a charcoal. This is the only way the interior comes in a sport package. And this is an option color wise on equipment group 50, 501 or 502. It doesn't matter if you go with the chrome package, you can also get the black interior. Now, let me go back to the Lariat over here and discuss a little bit about the features inside. So, you have a lot of really nice features that come standard with the Lariat. You got your power seats. You have your power adjustable gas and brake pedals. Obviously, uh, automatic headlights. You've, this is the button to turn on and off your spotlights memory seating for up to three people and then you've got your power windows and power mirrors and all that stuff cruise control 
Bluetooth connectivity for your cell phone. Push button start, which is the best feature I think on these F-150s, but you do have to go with a Lariat package. You cannot get that on, on an XLT. And obviously calling out the obvious, the leather is standard on a Lariat package. You cannot have leather unless you go with an aftermarket leather on an XLT. So if you're looking for a leather package that is from the factory and not an aftermarket one, then a Lariat is going to be your only choice. You do have also the productivity screen, which gives you a lot of nice features and um, options here for you to see and turn on and off things that you might have use for. Um, you have standard with the sync three system which is the for the uh, infotainment center that you see there I'll leave in the card also a link to a review for the sync three that I talk about every single button that you see on here which is quite a bit there's a lot of um, options and features that you can uh, we can discuss with you if you check out that video I'll leave it on the card up top in a description below obviously your AC your climate control but this is the key on a Lariat Equipment Group 501 or 502, you have the ability to have these guys, which is your AC seats. On Equipment Group 500, you don't have that option right there. So this is one of the reasons why a lot of people go with Equipment Group 501 or 502 is because of the climate control seats. On 502, you also have a built-in inverter. You do have a wood applique look on the front passenger area and on each of the trim uh, door trim panels you also have that wood applique this one here has one of the features that I absolutely love which is the twin panel moonroof this is an option on the lower trim levels it is not a standard feature on any of the trim levels so you can have a very highly loaded lariat without the twin panel moonroof um, so that's an option that's my personal favorite feature of the truck and i actually have a 502 lariat package myself and i absolutely love it this one here is a 4x4 shift on the fly and then you also have a trailer backup assist as well if you are like me that don't know how to pack up a trailer I guess just because I've done it twice in my whole life I uh, bet that if I have a little bit more practice I can get a little bit better at it let me show you the back over here so that you can go ahead and look at this leather again the gray leather back over here on this equipment group 502 you have AC vents charge capable USB ports and a built-in inverter and heated seats and your traditional PowerPoint. These seats here in the back go up so you can see all the space that you have back over here to store things or carry things. Now these wheels, these 20 inch wheels are not a standard option. You do have the 18 inch chrome that are standard on a Lariat chrome package. I just happen to love those wheels and that's the exact wheel that's on my personal vehicle as well. Now another thing that I like about the Lariat package is the key. This is the type of key that you get. It's a smart key. So all you need to do is uh, get close to the vehicle and if the vehicle happens to be locked, all you need to do is press a button either on the tailgate or on the handle itself for the doors and the doors will unlock for you that's something that I absolutely love on my truck you also have the built-in in the box in the bed lighting now you can also get this on an XLT but on a Lariat you also have LEDs up top where on an XLT you have the halogen bulbs especially if you have a cover this is imperative this is a must-have so that you guys can see 
what is uh, what is in the uh, bed of the truck at night. This one also has your tailgate step, which is generation two. And I know our previous one was not the best. We did have a lot of complaints from customers because our previous one, the handle was up top. And now the handle on this one here is nicely uh, built and able to be concealed pretty nicely. This is your backup sensors. There's uh, one right there and your other one right there. Every single F-150 comes with a receiver hitch, but you can upgrade to a different towing package depending on your towing necessities. This is where your blind spot monitoring system is. And again, this is standard on 501 and 502, so you don't have to worry about the, uh, the blind spot on the, on the truck. Um, I absolutely love it on my truck. Wheel moldings come standard on all lariats and your running boards. This is the button that I told you that uh, you can just touch to lock your doors or grab the inside part of the handle and it'll unlock the doors. See it right there and right there. Now in a sport package, the interior is a little bit different as well. I did briefly showcase the leather already, but what I wanted to show you is this carbon fiber like finish that you have on each of the door panels you also have it in front of the shifter and in front of the passenger area right there this one is a 501 no roof and again if you recall sport package only comes with the charcoal interior but you also have like 502 your charge capable USBs, your built in inverter, and your AC vents for your passengers back in the back. Look at the bulbs, they're halogen on 501 versus LEDs on 502. Okay, guys, hey, I wanted to show you this truck because it has the other color interior, which is a camel. And believe it or not, here in Tomball, I'm by Houston, Texas. It gets rather hot, but um, the camel, I had a hard time finding one with a camel. I, most of my inventory is in the charcoal black. But look, uh, what I like about this interior is the contrast. You have a really nice contrast between the floorboard, the center console, and the trim panels. So this is the camel interior. What do you guys think? You like the charcoal, the gray, or the camel? Let me know in the comments. F-150s drive so nice. Just taking the uh, truck that I did a review on on a quick spin. Man, it's smooth. It's quiet. 
I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. I've got the uh, sunroof open. Just enjoying the weather. Hey guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in and uh, allowing me to show you a little bit about the F-150 lineup and the different trim levels. And I know it can be a little bit confusing even for us sales consultants because there's just so much information on these vehicles, it's pretty hard to keep up with them. But if you guys have a question, if you uh, didn't see your answer, your question answered on this video, leave it down in the comments i'd love to respond back to you i'm, I'm actually pretty good about responding back to um all of you so if you have a question let me know if you'd like me to do a video on a specific thing that you have interest on on a ford vehicle let me know as well in the comments i am here for you and to try to provide you guys with as much as information as possible again this is jorge lopez your sales consultant over at tomball ford and i sincerely appreciate you watching this video do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any other videos thank you again and you all have a blessed day